three, two, one. Boosh. Oh my God, that's cold. Yep. Hello. Well, welcome back to You Bet Your Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest, presented by Ice Mountain. I am Miles, the You Bet Your Guy here with T shirt guy. We're feeling good. We're feeling loose. We're feeling a little squirrely today, I think. I think uh hmm. you feeling squirrely? I've been right? squirrely for three weeks straight. I don't know if you guys have noticed, <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the winter's been long, and I'm just, I need to get outside and do something. Yeah. You, we did. We went ice fishing. We did, oh, yeah. yeah. Went ice fishing, went shooting. Yeah, more on that later. More on that later. <laughs> um, But yeah, we're back in the stew. Trey Escalade Jackson Podcast. My, it's a memorial studio. Live. Live. No. And, uh, oh, okay. Got to start the podcast this way. We were wrong. We were wrong. And uh, basically, we gave our entire statement on us being wrong on the Patreon episode last week. So it was still fresh. Mm -hmm. Our wounds were still healing. Um, So we decided to put out our apology to the listeners about last week getting tears, tears wrong getting tire pressure wrong, <laughs> probably some other stuff we got wrong we didn't even know. Mm-hmm. And so we wanted to apologize, and we decided that we are on probation for being an educational podcast. Yep. So right now we're an experiment podcast, yeah, not life. an educational podcast. Yeah. Lifestyle experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we're sorry Experiment. we know we got it wrong but as i said on the patreon again go to patreon.com slash you betcha radio to listen to the full episode about us discussing how wrong we were all i said was if you're listening to this podcast actually for facts and information <laughs> i think you misread the room I well, think you need to read the room a little bit better. They just read the bio and saw education. So, <laughs> well, I, the segment was also things you learn too late in life. Mm-hmm. We've now learned two things. We learned late this in life. Yeah, that we now admit that we've learned yeah. late in life. Something Very that ironic. I, something I learned embarrassingly late in life is to not trust the internet as just pure fact. This is that is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, you got to go listen to the Patreon episode last week. It stung, Mm -hmm. but kudos to me for (laughs) being such a humble leader of this podcast (laughs) and apologizing. Big brain move by you to be so open, apologetic. Thank you. You're Ryan. (laughs) The best type of people own up to their own mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler, would you like to say something nice about me? (laughs) Uh, I'll save it. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Something to look forward to this episode. Yeah, I well, I better hear it by the end. Mm-hmm. But so, welcome to the You Betcha Radio rebrand. Mm-hmm. We're no longer an educational podcast. Pro bo- pro bono. No, <laughs> <laughs> probationally, oh. <laughs> we are probationally not a educational podcast. We are now an experiment podcast. We are now living by the mentality of fuck around and find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get your lab coats and beakers. So yeah, stethoscopes and all that mm-hmm. jazz. So yeah, we caught a lot of flack last week for getting the no tears, no tears thing wrong. Again, you can find that on the Patreon episode. But we're here to bounce back with a segment that nobody can argue with. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're this. This is a, we're doing the biggest softball uh, <laughs> segment in the world here. Just a nice lobber right down the middle. Meatball pitch. Nail it out of the park, Jared. What is it? Stuff nobody hates. Stuff that nobody (laughs) hates. This is a good one because I I feel like there's at least one person that hates something. Yeah. The the problem is that someone's going to hate it when we post it. Correct. No. No. Don't you guys go on You Bet Your Radios, Instagram, TikTok, and stuff. Do not... Go to the clip and say that you hate it, okay? Because <laughs> we know that you love it. Correct, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. we just know that you don't hate it. <laughs> right. 
And even if you do say you hate it, we'll know that you're just saying you hate it. Yeah, just really because we said we'll to know. not. We'll know. Yeah. So, <laughs> do we, good luck trying to dupe us again. We're not, I'm not getting double duped mm-hmm. twice in two weeks. No, I'm not getting we're, duped on. I'm not making it a regular occurrence to be duped. This is a one dupe podcast. Yeah. You ever so reached our limit. You ever get duped on when you were a kid? <laughs> I fun. think that sounds inappropriate. I don't know why, but it sounds inappropriate. It's That's something fun. that you did at the doctor. <laughs> no. <laughs> the doctor thing it doesn't even phase me. Anymore. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't be. All a- right. Go ahead. <laughs> we're not diving into you and your childhood trauma again. No, we're not diving in it. Nothing's diving into me. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> oh, no, Ryan. <laughs> Tyler, if you can beat him to the joke, do it. I know. Because then it's not a joke. It just, it just makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong pipe. Oh, my God. That's wet. Wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably were just wondering, Miles, what were you what were you just sipping on that was so wet? And I tell you what, it was this ice mountain water bottle. Because <laughs> we're presented by Ice Mountain naturally. Mm-hmm. And it's funny you know you what say else? Natural, is natural, natural, yeah. Guys, sorry. <laughs> you know what else is naturally? <laughs> the springs at which this water came from. From a cataclysmic event (laughs) (laughs) Roughly 8 to 12,000 years ago Cataclysmic event happened That rapidly melted the ice caps In North America That filled up these natural springs in Michigan Yeah, Created the Great Lakes So we're drinking history right here That's what Ice Mountain's all about History tastes good Oh my god that's historic (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god that's cataclysmic (laughs) Talk about a cataclysmic event on my thirst. <laughs> Ice Mountain is all about it. And it's kind of cool because they're right here in Michigan. Um they've only been they've only been sucking from the tap of the natural spring <laughs> since 1989. Wow. So think of how much more wow. water is in there. Yeah. It's yeah. ready to be slurped up by guys and gals like us. Mm-hmm. Not only does Ice Mountain love nature and cataclysmic events. They also love the community. And so Ice Mountain right now is running a campaign, or should I say skating a campaign called The Ice Runs Deep, where you, as someone in Michigan right now, and they're going through Michigan, can submit your local high school hockey team at icerunsdeep.com, and you can nominate your team for Team of the Week you get bragging rights. You also get a chance to win a limited edition Ice Mountain jersey. And uh, I kind of want one of those jerseys. You I kind of start too. a high school team. And Let's start a high school team. Hockey jerseys are sweet. Yeah, Let's move to Michigan cool. and do it. <laughs> so submit your local high school team for the Ice Runs Deep. Go to icerunsdeep.com. And then you too can be slurping up that delicious wet water that is Ice Mountain. <sighs> historic it's it's oh my god that's historically accurate <laughs> anyways um i'll start it off sure stuff that no one hates free stuff true think about all the freebies right uh you go over to a buddy help move free pizza mm-hmm. <laughs> easy you know you hate that you didn't get cash but you love the free pizza. You ain't got to cook you know? that yeah. night. You ain't got to order out. You ain't got to cook. You ain't got to do anything. What's the best kind of beer? Free. Free, free beer. Uh, what? You're at a... Uh, maybe Job a, a, Maybe you're at a, a Juco basketball game. <laughs> and during a timeout, they have the three cheerleaders in the entire school <laughs> run out on the court and start tossing little mini basketballs into the uh, stands. You've never seen people lose their mind more than when something free is about to be thrown their way. I would even take it. It's not just free stuff, free stuff that's delivered aerially. People love (laughs) t-shirt cannons. They don't hate it. Yeah. Yeah, T-shirt cannons. Yeah. Arm throws, slingshots. People love getting free stuff from slingshots. T-shirt guns. (laughs) Yeah. You guys have, 
ever like you're at like a baseball game or something with the t-shirt can and you're acting cool like you don't actually care if you get one but then there's but always inside the one you're tall burning for one, well, just give me one please. or there's the one tall kid that's acting nonchalant and then it goes our way and he just reaches over all of his friends and catches yeah. it and then <laughs> puts it in his pocket um i will say this is a true story home run derby jake when was all-star game in minnesota 2010 2014 home run derby. (laughs) I caught a t-shirt out of the t-shirt can at the home run. Hell yeah. Can you talk me through how it went? Well, it was, it wasn't a single shot cannon. It was like almost like a machine, like a machine, like a circle. It was like Gatlin gun. Yeah, that one. And I looked over like three t-shirts before I was going to get to our section. And it was like the exact row that we were in three sections over a couple more came by next section. Fucking same row. And I'm like, okay, hands are up. Let's go. One comes in our section. <laughs> let me section. see, though. You got it. Literally. Let like, me, No, I, let me see. That's about to launch. Where are your hands? My hands are right in front of me, straight, probably like six inches apart, fingers spread, <laughs> arms fully extended, and it literally lands right in my hands. What? A, so some, no one else even tried to get it from you? They couldn't. I mean, it was like it, it happened so fast. It went right into my hands. Guy in front of me, I think he wasn't like... Six six by any means. Did you like kind of purposely when it's coming and he tried to like get it like that, just send a knee to the back of his head? <laughs> yeah, no one knows what happened from the waist down. Everyone's looking up, so I was like, you know, yeah, I was getting people out of the way. <laughs> Shoving children. It's a big brain move though to be scouting out the gun before it gets to you. Yeah, all star game home run derby. Are you kidding? Lots me? Lots of competition yeah. there. Still got the t shirt too as an XL. Doesn't fit me though. Mm. One day. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, kids go bananas on Halloween for free candy. Yeah. Yeah. That's another one. I mean, free, even free money, you know, Biden bucks or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Trump bucks, Biden bucks, whatever yeah. the checks that the government was just give, giving out like candy. <laughs> Everyone who That's got it, even if kids. they disagreed with it, they were like, ah, this is pretty nice <laughs> to have some extra money yeah. in the pocket. <laughs> you know? I mean, I was a I was a free big, tuition. People love free mm-hmm. tuition. Another good one. It's another good one. I was a big time like free thumb drive guy. You free mean jump? Drive. You mean jump drive? Free jump drive flash guy. Drive, yeah. I think it's a portable USB stick C device. contraption. Big fan <laughs> of those and portable chargers. I've said that in the podcast before. Big I, fan of those. Yeah, I'm I'm I think on the record against the portable. Chargers. You are. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm not sure why yet, but. Free stuff's always nice. I mean, no one hates free stuff. No. And even if you don't necessarily love the thing you got, you love that you got it for free. Because if yeah. you throw it away, doesn't even matter. But I was like, you don't hate getting a free portable charger. No, I don't. I just don't use it, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. I think, yeah. You can go with a better freebie than that. <laughs> like little basketballs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something you're never going to play yeah. with. What do you mean? <laughs> Anytime I've got one of those, I bring it home and then I bounce it against a wall while I'm like watching TV for like seven, six, six to nine days. And then I lose it. How, where it goes, I don't know. But it was a great like little week I had there. I think Anne just steals it and throws it away because she's so annoyed. She just stabs yeah. it with a knife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very, very well could be, yeah. but. Honestly, there's no way anyone can hate free stuff. Okay. See, you talked about the JUCO, like you just set that scene. Junior college in back in my hometown, they used to give out free pizzas. <laughs> See, the yeah. kids that would that would cheer the loudest at halftime. I did get one of those pizzas one time. I you, you, God, guys, I, you guys have seen the vein in my neck and the vein in my forehead. It was talk like five times that. Free pizza, ran up to the very top row, and the amount of kids running after me behind, like straight behind me, almost tripped over my. Their own no feet. way they caught you though. No, right? God, no. And I was like, dude, can I have a pizza? And I, I probably end up eating like half of it, giving it away to the less fortunate. I can cheers. Next loud. sporting event, I'm sticking tight to you. Yeah, we're I mean, gonna get I, free shit everywhere you go. Yeah. yeah, you see that vein in my neck? Hey, yeah. if we're at a game and there's, you know, t shirt cannon or something, what we'll do. Is Tyler and I will will grab your each of your feet and your hands will go on our shoulders and then as they launch we'll go one, two, three <laughs> we'll launch you up in the air to Straight ensure, up. but we'll have to like as it's in the air we'll have to like calibrate mm-hmm. which way we're gonna throw you. Yeah, but we'll catch you just like cheerleaders. Say, you'll yeah. be ready for the catch. We will yeah. not be catching you. <laughs> 
So I'll you're try. hey, you're on your own, kid. <laughs> I'm not sharing the free stuff with you then. Well, <laughs> I am your boss. <laughs> so you did throw me six feet in the air though and not catch me. Broken but, broken but leg. I did tell you ahead of time, right? Is it well, I mean, a, a lesser, question? A lesser athlete would get hurt. It's like the classic <laughs> uh um if someone goes, oh, let's do a trust fall on you. I'm not going to catch you. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you are. Then they do it and they don't catch you. <laughs> Can you really be mad at the person for not catching you because they said that they weren't? Well, you should have. Tr- or are you mad at yourself for not listening to them? Yeah, you should have trusted me in saying I'm not going to catch you. Mm. I mean, there's a trust fact. That's trust. You're so right. right. It really comes down to if you want to do it. You just How know you're not you gonna get caught. No, you. I know you would catch me. I would. You would. I don't know if I can. Tyler do it would alone. catch me. I'll try to catch well, you. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason why is because we're not launching you straight up in the air. Sure, we're going. We're going directionally. I mean, you're either going way right, way left, probably way forward. <laughs> probably gonna teabag the back of some grandma's <laughs> head, you know? <laughs> just break her yeah. back. Yeah, as long as I'm not the one getting teabagged, <laughs> don't matter to me. <laughs> well, you might also get teabagged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll try it out sometime. That yeah, was the we... best thing in the world. Getting, getting tea bagged. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that was, <laughs> that was yeah, sick. What? No, you'd be, you'd be playing Halo 2 with your yeah. buddies. You get a kill, oh, and then yeah, you yeah. go up to him and you just oh, would, yeah, you'd yeah. crouch and stand up a bunch of times and just tea bag him <laughs> over and over again. The mic. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> See, land parties. We need, we need to, we had so many good times. I'm pretty sure, like, what was it, Nick Bosa or Joey Bosa? Did the tea bag celebration oh, after yeah. he got a sack? That's sweet. He stood there like he was holding a gun, and then just like did the like yeah. up and down. <laughs> yep, very fitting. Pretty iconic. Sack. Yeah, nice. Uh, such a sack move. Yeah. Do you get why? Because a tea bag involves a sack. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that word's Come on the way out. What sack? Um. So that was mine. Freebies. Yep. I mean. I don't want to say it, but it might be the only thing in the world that no one hates. I maybe like a Jeff Bezos type, or like somebody like a Goggins, like a nothing's in life that should yeah, be free. Maybe a fucking you know? David Goggins. <laughs> well, look at Ryan. <laughs> I just got done reading his new book. I know that's why I'm saying that. No chance he gave out any of those for free. I'm sure he did. Mm. I mean that's a bold statement. I mean I I don't th- I think if there's anyone that doesn't like free shit, it's a Goggins type. Yeah, I mean he's not wrong. Yeah, work Ryan for what go- you want in life. Ryan goes goo goo for Goggins. <laughs> 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 but I can confidently say in this room, and to most of our listeners, if not all, they love free shit. Nobody hates it. No, I think we the the segment is stuff everyone. It's not just about the people in this room. We also got to convince Goggins that free stuff is also <laughs> yeah. something he doesn't hate. We just got to find something that he would like for free, and then he can't say he hates free stuff. Yeah. Like, I bet he loves free pain. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't hate it. No. Anyways, Tyler, what's your uh, thing that stuff okay. that no one hates? Uh, nobody hates The Lion King. It doesn't matter if you're super critical of movies, if you're a comedy or a horror guy, nobody hates The Lion King, and they never will. I don't hate The Lion King. Yeah? You don't even have to like it. No one hates it. I was trying to find something to hate about it, but I don't have an opinion on it, so therefore I can't hate it. Yeah, you don't hate it. You just don't like it. I mean, also, I I don't remember a single fucking scene from that movie besides when he holds him up. Hey! (laughs) Ask me what that's for. What's that for? Doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> Rafiki. That's from the movie. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how pissed he yeah. was that I hit him on? <laughs> it's the first time you ever hit him. <laughs> yeah, audio visual for the listeners. Also, just I got one headphone Ryan. off now. <laughs> also, no awareness did not dodge my smack at all. I didn't know what was. Co- I didn't. Know I, what- I thought you were gonna pat him on the back. For a guy that loves shadow boxing, that training did not pay off. That was the slowest smack ever. I was like, you're pretty quick though. Also, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, just, I, I, I knew it wouldn't inflict any damage, so I'm not. No, afraid No, it's that. in the movie. 
when the monkey I'm gathering that now Rafiki because <laughs> Simba's being is all in his field he's going through his uh, uh, angsty emo, teenager phase angsty emo teenager days okay he's all pissed about his dad dying <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but it's like years after. But it was Get over so it. long ago. That was when he he didn't even have any pubes back then. Yeah, and he's all like, "Oh, my dad died. My uncle killed my dad." And scar. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Mufasa. Rafiki hits him on the head. He's like, "Hey, what's that for?" And he says, "It doesn't matter. It's in the past, and that's the life lesson." So I just taught you that just now. You'll never forget that. Well, they also, it, they call it the present because it's a gift. That's Lion King too. The second one? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. It, it sounds like something Rafiki would say, though. Yeah, He's a wise old monkey. Sure. Mm, my dad got trampled by a bunch of wildebeest <laughs> in, a can, in a canyon. That's nature. That's survival of the yeah. fittest. Yeah. Circle of life. Because <laughs> that's a song. Uh, that yes, plays it on is. Yeah. Thank you. See, I know more than you guys think I do. I just no. I it's just all coming back to you. Yeah, right yeah. Now. You're just a good refresher. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can't say I hate it. So, no. good on you, Tyler. Thanks. Yeah, I, I don't know a single person that I think even it. Goggins wouldn't hate The Lion King, especially he loves that life lesson. Yeah. Huh? Doesn't do I, matter. Do you want me to do it again? You can, yeah. I'll block it though. Yeah. Now, now I'm, now no, I'm, I, I, I now I'm will te- reteach you that lesson when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, Miles, you can hit Ryan whenever you want. Now I'm just saying, I'm just quoting the Lion King. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's yeah. in the past. Yeah. I fucking hate the Try Lion using King. that your mouth yeah. off to some guy at the bar <laughs> or some guy's mouth off to you, you sock him in the mouth, and the cops are like, why'd you do it? Doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> <laughs> You can get away with anything doing that. I was trying to teach him a life lesson from The Lion King. And we, and Mr. Officer, I know you don't hate that movie. Yeah. Now, I if can't I, argue with that logic. Now, if I would have tried to block you, you would have been like, dude, it's a life lesson. Just let me teach it to you real quick. Let me hit you. Yeah. Well, first of all, you're living in the land of what ifs. It's like siblings. No, dude, just let me hit you. I swear I won't do it hard. Yeah. <laughs> or that no. Was the best. I, rem- I remember I'd like... <laughs> Tell me if you guys ever did this growing up. Your little sibling makes you mad. Then, you know, you sock them real good. Yeah. Drops to the ground, bawling, about to get in trouble with your mom <laughs> or dad. Okay. And then you go, hey, okay, no, you hit me now once. <laughs> yep. Hit me back. <laughs> yeah. yep. you, give them the, you give them the freebie shot. Yep. And uh, everyone loves free stuff. So. Everyone loves free stuff. And so... <laughs> He'd give you a punch back, but then you still would get in trouble. So you got, not only did you give a freebie punch, you also got in trouble. Yeah. I was pulling that shit. Mm-hmm. For sure. I would rather. No, dude. Oh, God. No. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. No, don't. Stop crying. Just, come on. Come here. You hit me now. As hard as you want. <laughs> and then they do it a little too hard and you want to hit them again. Yeah. And it re- does the mm-hmm. circle of life. Oh, yeah. That's where that. <laughs> so that phrase comes from. <laughs> So yeah, we had that merry-go-round quite a bit growing up. <laughs> Ryan, I got one. What's Fuck, he- this one might be controversial. No, <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyways. Something that nobody hates is the weekend. That uh, being Saturday, David and Saturday. Goggins. That being Saturday. <laughs> that being Saturday. Fuck it. Something that no one hates: vacation. I can get on board with that. Yeah. Especially yep. like if 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 you're if you're if everyone's on board with where you're going and everyone's jacked mm-hmm. about it, how can you hate vacation? Yeah, even you like maybe hate a couple things that you're doing on vacation because you preferably wouldn't want to do them. But in a overall sense, I don't think there's anyone that hates vacation. And if no, they I, did hate it, they wouldn't be going on. Correct. It. Like even the grumpy dad that's like moody the whole time, like keep trying to keep schedule and shit or whatever. He doesn't hate it. He actually loves that he shit. He loves that shit. Even if you travel a lot, a mm-hmm. vacation is still fun. Even if you travel little, a vacation is still even more fun that, in that sense. Mm-hmm. So you can't be mad on vacation. That's golden rule number one. I've been mad on vacation before. Me too. You I've can't been get a- mad that you're on vacation, though. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Ryan, I'm not saying this would be mean. But you say vacation weird. 
Vacation. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah, that was a little weird. How do you say it? Vacation. Yeah, you skipped the air. Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone else in this room. Vacation. Yeah. Do you call it vocational class or? Yeah, because it's an vocation. O and not an A. Vocational class. They're not that way. <laughs> vocation. I got to head over to vocational class. That, that's V-O. Vacation is V-A. Oh, vacation. Going on vacation with an A. <laughs> I said I preface I'm not trying to get like when people call it vacation. I get it when people call it vacay because it's it's like that's how it flows into the AY. That's how the first part of that word is pronounced. Vacation. What if someone called it vacay? (laughs) Vacay. I mean they 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 wouldn't though. Yeah, because it's it's vacation. vacation. I know, but it's also a shortened word and it's pronounced differently. No, I'm I'm. This is a hill I. A hill that I will. (laughs) A hill I will die on. It's vacation. So weird. You skip A's in other words? I don't think so. I've never noticed it before until now, if you do. I mean, say say a word, I'll say it. Say <laughs> apple. Apple. Pull. Pull. <laughs> Pull. Pull. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad example. Say... Say staycation. Okay, that's different. There's a Y after the A. Staycation. Staycation. <laughs> staycation. <laughs> now... Eliminate the ST, put a V, and then eliminate the Y, and then say that. Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's also wrong. What? It's vacation. Correct? Yeah, it is vacation. Can we yeah. look up what yeah, can the, you can we get some two he's saying dots? he's saying vacation, and then he's also saying vacation when he thinks he's pronouncing it correctly. Staycation and vacation. That's it's not v v v what is h n what's what's the the line on top of a letter you hold it right yep vacation <laughs> God I hate you vacation I can I mean I can get on board with vacation but I just <laughs> it's just like that it doesn't good. I know that I said it I said it in your guys's terms now what do you mean you can get on board you don't have a choice well, I just like I <laughs> pronounce it differently like guy who works here he pronounces yesterday yesterday no I heard that. no 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 you, you're you're pronouncing it wrong you're not pay, pronouncing it differently Yesterday, that's not how well, you pronounce yesterday. What did you say? Yesterday. That's, it's just, you I just think that's a speech just a, impediment. I was just going to say, I think that's a speech impediment. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yesterday. Yeah. We have someone working here with a speech impediment? <laughs> yesterday, yes. Okay. <laughs> Tyler, what is yours? Uh, something that nobody hates is pizza rolls. Goggins hates ah, pizza rolls. that one. I can't. I, no one hates Goggins them, hates them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, fucking so, Goggins is ruining this segment. I know. Well, so hold on here. <laughs> Does the burning your mouth from the steam thing count as hating pizza rolls? Because I hate when it's too hot and it's boiling lava in there. Mm-hmm. Just like Jim Gaffigan says about pot, hot pockets. Mm-hmm. It's boiling lava hot. I mean, I hate that. I, think, I would I think say that's it more counts that, that, if you didn't still eat them. Well, I eat stuff I don't. No, I like, eat stuff I hate all the time. But like you burn your mouth anytime on that. I, anytime and you're, I have a shred of lettuce, I hate it, <laughs> but I eat it. But you you eat this, it burns your mouth, it does you wrong, and then you still are like, yeah. I think it's I'm more of an annoyance. Destroy it's, these when they cool off. It's an annoyance. Yeah. Versus a hate. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody truly <laughs> hates them except Goggins. <laughs> So much splitting of hairs in this segment. <laughs> no, no, you don't hate it. You just strongly dislike it. <laughs> I mean, hate is a strong word. Splitting of hairs is so this is not a tear free podcast. Holy oh, fuck. No. <laughs> not again, Tyler. Really, Tyler? Not again. Really? Um, no, I, I mean, there's nothing better than. Well, so, okay. Here's a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. How do you guys prepare your pizza rolls? Some people do it in the oven. Mm. Some people do it in a microwave. Some people do it in an air fryer. How do you do it? I mean, I've never seen it, but I'm pretty sure you could probably put it in a 
frying pan and do it on the stove too. Probably. You, you can deep fry pizza pizza rolls. You oh, could probably yeah. deep fry them. You could probably throw them on a grill. Good. They might fall through. Well, you put like he, a. He doesn't know how to grill a, miles. You get a tray. <laughs> tray. <laughs> well, it's a whole. You thing. don't even need a tray. You just need tin foil. Yeah. 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 Anyways, you could you boil uh, what, them? What is? What's your favorite way to do them? Wait, wait, wait. Is that was that a serious question? I'm asking. If you can boil pizza rolls. Yeah. <laughs> we just talked about every method of cooking. Why is <laughs> why it so did that offensive? Set him off so much. I mean, why would you boil anything that's made of like bread? Pasta is also Dumplings. flour. Dumplings, but something you're trying to crispen up versus a, a ravioli. A ravioli is basically a pizza roll. Yeah, but you wouldn't boil a ravioli. I, I or no, he's got a point. You're yeah. trying to crisp them up, is what I meant to say. Yeah, but like Ra- raviolis, unless you're doing toasted, but then you're just gonna fry it. Toasted ravioli is a pizza roll. I didn't know if that was a joke. I saw. Don't fight me on that. I, they're no, essentially right. the same. I mean, I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't boil pizza rolls. <laughs> I'm just asking you No, if you I know. Could. I'm just getting I know. away from us. I'm just saying, you wouldn't boil it's getting away from us. <laughs> so, for me... So, let's... We'll the, just... Hey, the we'll question, take boiling off of the table. <laughs> I'm the, the question wasn't, should you? Is It was, could you? You know what? I think this situation has reached its boiling point. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you prepare them? Air fryer now. I was an oven guy my whole life, though, before I got an air fryer. No shit. They're better. They're crispier. The microwave, they'd get a little more mushy, and that's more often than not, you get the middle ones in the plate are cold. The outside ones are piping fucking hot. So that goes back to the boiling question. You're trying to eat. No, I never once said I wanted to. It was a good. uh, I think I'm an oven guy as well. Yep. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just my personality and that I hate going along with the crowd, but I just think I think air fryers are madly overrated. I disagree. I highly disagree. Yeah. The that, container is so small. It is. You can buy different sizes. But you have that. I'm pretty correct. sure we got the big egg and that thing fits got the three ta- pizza rolls. Got the tah- tahiti model. Yeah. <laughs> A I got- single serving. Pretty much of pizza rolls. Yeah, ten of them. Right I might, I might slam thirty pizza rolls in one sitting. Oh well, my air fryer! Can that fit. can only fit in the oven. I know this from doing it many times. My my air fryer can fit twenty three chicken nuggets. Do you stand them upright? You stack them. And then, <laughs> no. Vertical. And then shake them. Yeah. No. You stack them up. Lay like, them in there flat. Do you stack them in there like <laughs> cordwood or what? No, I just lay them in there nicely. Okay. Well, that's not my experience. I don't know if maybe we bought. The maybe we bought the like action figure sized air yeah, fryer. Take I can, an easy bake oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, thank I, you. I can, fit, <laughs> I can open it up and just fit one pizza roll in yeah. there and close it up. And all it is is just a light bulb in yeah. there. Good for a little appetizer. <laughs> I mean, my air fryer, I mean, I think it. I could fit it in the palm of my hand. It feels so small in there. <laughs> you gotta get a new air fryer, put it on your registry. Yeah, there you go. But the the, the the machine that's sitting on my counter is already massive. I, I it's like this it's like it's shaped like an egg, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's an egg and like 30% of this egg is the compartment. Yeah, correct, yeah. Huh. The, the other is just like the small digital portion, whatever is behind that, that's where whatever's it's going See, on I, in there. I think I got like the basic version which gave me more space cuz there's no bells and whistles to this. There's temperature and there's time and then the rest of it is the fucking basket. It's probably like the first version that like actually was like not safe for humans <laughs> yeah. to be around, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's like uh, it's gonna blow up. It's like in cars, they had like R twelve or whatever to like make AC really cold, Mm -hmm. and they found out it was terrible for the environment. They took it out. (laughs) But if you still had a car with R twelve, that AC was just crisp. Well, I was gonna say cooking, but no, it's the opposite. Freezing, yeah, freezing, (laughs) freezing. So. I just have the world's smallest air fryer, or what? I guess. I, I mean, looking at the thing, it you know like the. You know, like uh, like air compressor, uh-huh. like a stand up one. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's the size of my air fryer. <laughs> but then it's like just a little compartment that like three pizza rolls could go yeah. in, and then it, <laughs> I'm just so unimpressed with air fryers. You can get racks for them too, I think. Yeah, so you can go multiple rows. Go do- that would be dosing. useful. 
<clears throat> or let's just not shape it like an egg and figure out a better way to, to do it. They make them rectangular. Yeah, now. they make them like uh, like mini miniature. Of, I mean, it's, it's a convection oven, but they make like miniature style ovens that sit right on the tabletop. Also, I'm pretty sure I have a convection <clears throat> oven. So. Yeah. You, you got a lot of bells and whistles that you're not using enough. No, I mean, I've used it and it was it wasn't big enough. Mm. You fit one slice of pizza in there? Yeah. Yeah. One slice of pizza max. It's absolutely horseshit. I think you just need a bigger one and it'll it'll turn you around. Okay. This put conversation's it, really heating up. Put it, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I'm a I'm an air fryer guy first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Depending, I, it all depends on how many people I'm cooking for, though. If I'm cooking for two, I'll maybe see if I can squeeze a couple extra in the air fryer. Mm-hmm. However, I don't want to wait for the oven to heat up to 350, pop them in for 15 minutes or whatever it is, and then eat. I mean, I, I'm not eating till midnight at that point. Oh, my right. I agree. So it's like fucking, you heat, you heat oh, the air fryer up for like two minutes. Why? Because you're starting doing in. this at 11.35? <laughs> no, I'm starting at like at like 7 p.m. It's done at midnight by the time I get it down. Yeah, it comes down to preheat in the oven. Yeah. Air fryers are good like, I don't know, in between but between that. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just start the oven at 350, put whatever I want in there, and then by the time it's done preheating after 45 minutes, it's actually done. <laughs> yeah, it does take a while. Did so, you just describe how to cook in an oven? No, I'll put it in during the preheating Pre-heat. process. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you gotta get your oven looked at. My microwave, my fucking dishwasher's <laughs> out of, out of socket now. So I did. Yeah. Anyway, it's like no Chernobyl. updates on the microwave this this week. Still can't feel the heat in there. I tried it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'll video it tonight for you guys. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I make myself laugh doing it, so I do it more often than not. Um. <laughs> I wish that my oven had an option much like my car. I wish there was auto start. I wish there was astro start for my oven. I think they make smart ovens. They do. I, so, but here's the thing. So I got one of those. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like it was like anything special. It just comes with Wi-Fi technology that hooks up to the Wi-Fi and you uh, get a nap, right? Are you confusing it for your Traeger? No, oh, does okay. not have wire fire technology. Okay. <laughs> this is just Wi-Fi technology. Okay. You go on the phone, you can set the thing. You can set bake 425. Hey. I said five. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to do that. Well, you said 425. <laughs> Baked 420. <laughs> <laughs> so you said bake 420. <laughs> <laughs> but then you in order for it to start going you have to manually press it on the thing i was so disappointed that's bullshit what's the point then well so i think it's like a safety thing like you shouldn't have an oven on unattended but when was the last time a new oven started a house on fire <laughs> Oh, I've heard of instant pots causing more damage than ovens. Yeah, yeah don't they like the pressure makes yeah, the top blow, blow off? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you can maybe look up how many ovens <laughs> have started. New oven. I mean, it can't be some rickety old shit. No. It's no. got to have Wi Fi technology. So, how many new ovens have blown up? <laughs> <laughs> new ovens have started house fires. It's got to be Wi-Fi technology, though. Okay. Oh, okay. how many? Wow. How many house fires caused by ovens, microwaves? Total. This is. It's not new data, <laughs> but this is the data that we have, so we're gonna go with it. Total fires from 2002 to 2009 from microwaves, 2,300 fires in seven years. Then fridges, 1,500. Toasters and toaster ovens, which is a cousin to the regular oven, mm-hmm. yep. but still not an oven. Yep. Thirteen hundred. Dishwashers, a <laughs> thousand? Oh, How are dishwashers starting fires? Well, that's the drying cycle on those bad boys. Yeah. They get hot. All right, press three more rows, Jared. Oh God. The whole thing. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. scrolling. Wow. That's way too much research to be accurate. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's so small. Washing machines. What? Dude, ovens aren't even on this list. <laughs> oh. Ranges right up top. Second one. 
A range would be that'd be an oven. But that no, that's the top. That's the stove. That's yeah. the stove. Oh. Ovens aren't even on here. What? A traditional oven. There's toaster ovens and microwave ovens. Those are like the uh, those are like the cousins that like you know live in a trailer <laughs> park and like are always doing meth and shit. Yeah. Toaster right. ovens and microwave ovens. But the regular ovens, you got a nice three bedroom sub two K SQFT house. Can do a lot with that. I mean, <laughs> why can't we uh, Astro start our? You got ovens. You got to call the company and it figure out what the hell's going on. If anything, it should be like you can astro start it, and then if you don't, like it starts up. But if you don't come in within, let's say, fifteen minutes to hit yeah, like continue okay. going, mm -hmm. it'll shut off automatically. I love that. I love that idea. That is great compromise with big oven. It shuts yeah. off. Yeah. It's like astro start. You start your car if you're not there. If you don't hit the button in fifteen minutes, it's car off. shuts off. Yeah, cars it's foolproof. Cars blow up way more than ovens. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Refrigerators blow up more. Also, seven point three million dishwashers got recalled from two thousand seven to twenty eleven. <laughs> Why? That's probably when my dishwasher was installed. Honestly, <laughs> you could, you're probably entitled to compensation. <laughs> <laughs> Have you or your loved ones suffered the effects of mesothelioma? No, but my dog gets freaked out when it the the door slams shut. Oh, also the cord on the door that is the soft open it that's broke, so it fucking slams mm. down on the ground. You so got that thing is recalled for sure. Appliances are next well, on Ryan's list. So all I know is between the years 2002 and 2009, we're, I can confidently say zero <laughs> with the data that I have. Correct. Such old data. <laughs> zero ovens have started fires. <laughs> Let's get into some Astro starts. But And I want it to be on my keys. I don't want it to be an app on my phone. <laughs> I want it to be on my keys and I want it to do the beep. Brrr, beep doo, 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 doo. I want that to happen every time I start it. <laughs> that was actually like kind of what good. it sounded yeah. like. The remote would also be a good place for it. Oh, yeah. Like you don't want to get up and start cooking just yet. You want to maybe watch the last 20 minutes. No, of your I show. want it on a keychain. Hit key it on chain. the remote. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get up to go get your keys that are probably on the kitchen counter. Yeah. <laughs> so you can start your oven from six feet away. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Instead of like the Hulu button, it's the oven button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we want to check one more soda? Well, we're not an educational podcast. That no, This no. is an experiment that we're trying. Uh,. Right there. Well, that's just cooking in general. Yeah. We don't need to keep looking. We're not an <laughs> educational podcast. We don't need to continue research. And the research is over. <laughs> Concluded. So, I don't know what to find. Yeah. It's, it's also the top hit on Google, so yeah, it's got to be right. Correct. If you go past the second page, your first page, you're... Got to go to Quora. <laughs> I fucking hate Quora's paywall. <laughs> Fuck off, Quora. It's well, always the you, it's the always the exact question. Yeah, but it's always the exact question I'm trying to get answered, and I start reading it, and I click to expand to the answers. Boom, paywall. Fuck you, Tyler. <laughs> I need someone's Quora login. Yeah, you guys <laughs> want to share, share a Quora account? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's the new cha cha. <laughs> so there we go. We got our new. We have two things we need to experiment. Patreon podcast last week. We need to mow snow. Yes. Yeah. Next experiment is we need to f somehow rig up an astro star to the oven. I think we could do it. Makes sense. If we hire someone. <laughs> <laughs> we could not do it. We're, just, we're idea guys. Yeah. Yeah. That would be terrible. We, we're we trying to do the electrical and redo the hard wiring of the oven, and it starts on fire, and my house burns down. And then you make and the then, list. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then it, they have to add a new thing on that website. So one. From, from 2002 to 2023, <laughs> there's been one house fire from an oven. <laughs> they tried to astro start that bitch. Yeah. So, I think... Uh, and no one's gonna hate an Astro started oven. Exactly. No. So we want to talk How full could circle anyone here. Hate that. Nobody would. Nobody hates Astro start did ovens. <laughs> started. So, all right. I think we just nailed that. So, I think uh, 
I can't even make something up. I'm trying to figure out who could hate it. Yeah, me neither. Um, I'm trying to do an oven pun right now. I got nothing. I was going to try to say that we just preheated preheated the podcast with that segment but your your idea is half baked (laughs) (laughs) no it's fully baked here (laughs) ding (laughs) all right we're gonna take a break and we're gonna keep this thing rolling we're gonna keep this thing cooking there There we go I'm back I knew I'd find it (laughs) do you guys love going to the gun range I know I do (laughs) you gotta look at me when you talk I know I do. No, you got with the paper, yeah. <laughs> I know I do. Ryan, hello. Are you are you feeling religious today? Hell yeah! Cause you sure look holy. <laughs> uh, no, guys, we went to the gun range with our Mossbergs, and uh, this was we did a little competition. Turns out Tyler didn't grab the right. I grabbed the ones that right I was told sheets. to grab, but I I beat Ryan. We were going for the little center circle there. The light blue. And blue. this is how good of shots we are. <laughs> I may I hit five in the circle and Ryan hit four out of six. So <laughs> six bullets. I said, eh, we only can load up six. And, and you had you had four in the middle until your last shot. That is true. Because I'm a steady eyed missile man. Uh there is video proof that will be posted. On the Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Um, so if you can see here, I blasted his face. <laughs> I then hit his carotid artery. <laughs> and then I absolutely peppered his heart. And so I mean, if you're thinking this guy lived to fight another day, he did not. I was, so, just, I was just trying to hit as many body parts as I could. Spray and pray. Yeah. I mean, look at all. <laughs> you basically did Dumb and Dumber where... You shot around the guy's head. <laughs> Only a couple times, though. So. Yeah. Like, um, no, what we what we found is I can't imagine how many shots we wouldn't have gotten in the center if we didn't have a Mossberg. Mm-hmm. Have a and that's what this is all about. And plus, just the camaraderie oh, yeah. that we had. It was good. At the range, shooting the Mossbergs, having a good time, peppering the paper. And uh, I don't know. I recommend everyone should go to Mossberg.com, pick up a, what I got a MC2. Yeah. Fun fact about the MC2 is they uh, come red dot ready, which Miles can prove now. Yes. Don't tell Anna about a red dot. Sorry. Red dot is uh, you sweet. told me that at the store. And but, I forgot. See, I got to care, but I just don't need any ammo for her. <laughs> nice. And oh, there. we got it for Miles as an early bachelor party. Yes. Guest. yes. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. That was great. Yeah. She didn't um, so I put a red power. dot on a little tiny MC2 and I was dialed in. We we're also clearly I'd be Ryan. So. We're pretty dialed at 25 yards too. Yeah. 25 yards is a that's a haul for us. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a poke, if it's you a will. Hulk. It's two first downs. So go to Mossberg.com, pick out a nine millimeter or whatever you like. And uh, gotta go to your local gun range and just have an afternoon with the guys. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Or gals. We shot yeah. a lot. We shot a lot. Ryan missed a lot. I hit a lot. <laughs> Inner dialed. That's, that's right. the way it goes. That's why, we sh- that's why we practice, right? Yeah, that's always a good move. Here's a tip if you go to the range and you're not very good, just go. I'm still sighting it in. Yeah. <laughs> like that is a nine millimeter pistol. Well, we still am. I didn't wear my contacts today, so and that's where I'm at. <laughs> These safety glasses are scratched. I can't see. Yeah, safety through. glasses. Oh, God, you wouldn't believe the, the <laughs> scuffs on these things. Yeah, the safety glasses weren't prescription. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, go to Mossberg.com. It's going to be fun. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. Boys day. Boys day. The boys are... <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Oh, right, Jared. What do we got? We, uh, we're we talking junk drawers today? Yep. Uh, what is something every junk drawer needs to be considered a junk drawer? Well, junk? It's got ju- junk. Oh. Mm. Not to be confused <laughs> with the trunk. Mm-hmm. Junk in the trunk is much different than junk in the drawer. <laughs> I didn't think well, about hold on. That's just, just never mind. 
The front version? Yeah. Yeah, that's the junk drawer. <laughs> yeah. Nice. If that's the case. My junk drawer is massive. I got a lot of junk in my drawer. <laughs> and by that, I mean I don't have a lot of junk in my drawer. There's a lot of empty space in there. Yeah. Well, hey. We just moved into a new house, so it's, <laughs> the, junk, the junk drawer is still filling up. Yeah, it hasn't accumulated yet. I get yeah, it. I get there's it. a lot of space in there. Um, I I know Charlie Barron's has a bit about junk drawers mm-hmm. that he does a lot, but I is it like a across? Is it a human thing or is this a Midwest thing that junk drawers? God, I I like I like to think it is a human thing. But I'm not. I'm not a but worldly man. I think there's different man. names for them. Yeah, you I don't know. Google it, Jaren. I don't know. I, I I think it's everywhere though. It's gotta be. You think? What do I Google? It's just human natural names for junk drawers. Junk drawers. Mystery drawer. <laughs> no way. Click on that. We call those glory holes. <laughs> Jesus, Tyler. <laughs> Glory holes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> Put that on a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> I that right now. Oh, God. Gateway timeout. Nice work, Jared. All right. Error so 404. We're just going to assume that this is a human thing. The Hodge, hodgepodge. Hodge, hodgepodge is a great word. Yeah. So a junk drawer is just a hodgepodge of... Of junk. Of junk that you've collected over the years Mm -hmm. that go into one drawer when they don't have a place. It's the drawer of things. And uh, I think it's a human thing. So we're going to assume that. Um, I mean, we can just go around the room. I think that every single junk drawer should have a tape measure in it. Mm -hmm. Of course. It's a good one. Every single junk drawer I've ever possessed has had a tape measure in it. I I will say I don't have a tape measure in my junk drawer, but I always need to go to the garage to my toolbox to get the tape measure. So just get when I need it in the house. Your your junk drawer tape measure should be like the twelve footer. Yes, not the big heavy duty boy. Yep. Where have I been? Living under a rock. We'll get one for you. You throw that in your junk drawer, you'll be feeling good. And that's not junk. Did you say that you've been living in a rock? (laughs) Under a rock, like Patrick Star. Oh. SpongeBob reference. If you guys didn't get that one. Um. (laughs) No, I think you got to grow up and put a tape measure in your junk drawer. Yeah, things you learn late in life, putting a tape measure in the junk drawer. So, yeah. Speaking. I mean, it saves a lot of time. Yes. What well, saves you having to walk out to the cold garage? I, mean, I, don't, have well, heat, I don't have heated garage. Yeah, you speak heated, for yourself. Heated garage. <laughs> Remember how big my house is? Not that big. So, it's be easy to heat. <laughs> Leave the door open. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I'll take you up on that one. Speaking of tape measures, every drunk drawer, ne- dre- Jesus. every drunk drawer, <laughs> every drunk Tyler needs to figure out how to talk. Every junk drawer needs rolls of tape. Yep, and you need multiple scotch, kinds. Scotch tape mm-hmm. is number Packing one. Packing tape, masking tape doesn't go anywhere but the drunk. Drawer. Okay, got a question for you guys. Who's still buying masking tape? <laughs> I'm with you. Becca got a roll not that long ago. I asked that exact question. Apparently, it's for the the boys to play with. They use it for arts and crafts and shit. Oh, I, and I remember as a kid, as a, as a young lad, a young boy growing up, I remember. Young buck. Mom, ugh, I don't want to watch TV. I want to play with masking <laughs> tape. Yeah. I want to do arts and crafts. I want to do arts and... Uh, where's, we're out of masking tape? Why didn't you buy more? Mom? I mean, I'm still with you. <laughs> I mean, I'll, but you just I'm not buying that that it's like you have to buy masking tape for arts and crafts. Well, scotch yeah, the, tape the, is going to do the trick. The reason that we have scotch tape in our junk drawer is for wrapping Christmas presents mm-hmm. once a year. That's yeah. the for me that's the only time it ever gets used is for Christmas presents. Yeah, I'm trying to think of another time where I've used it but I don't think I can. No. I use it here in the office sometimes, but that's so, different. Also, let's think about masking tape for a second here. Thank you, Jared, for thinking about it. <laughs> no, that's it. I just want to sit and think about cool. it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. No. If you think about it, whoever invented masking tape literally probably 
just had a really shitty tape that wouldn't stick to anything and just marketed it as, no, it's tape that's supposed to work for just a little bit and then you're supposed to tear it off. Genius move. I just remember the last time I ever used masking tape, hosting a rummage sale, writing the prices on it because you can write on it. That's what it's good for. Uh, you can write on duct tape. You can write on... Duct tape's too sticky, though. If I put duct tape on something I'm trying to sell, they can't peel it off right. nice. So literally, Richard Drew, Dick Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Drew all over his tape. <laughs> his middle name's Gurley, too. <laughs> Dick Gurley Drew. Dick Gurthy Drew. I mean Gurley. Hey. <laughs> Went to the U of M, Minnesota. Oh, he's born in St. Paul. 3M. Classic. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. <clears throat> he invented scotch tape. Yeah. He invented masking thing. tape and but transparent But scotch tape and masking tape are much different here. Oh, are they? Okay, what's masking the case? tape is like the, the tan well, shit. The scotch has a oh. masking tape. I'm talking the clear stuff is yeah, scotch yeah, yeah. tape in my yes. mind. Okay. Yep. Who's scotch? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he? I fucking Who's love scotch him. And what is he taping up? <laughs> He's got incredible <laughs> eggs. <laughs> he also makes a banger whiskey. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what I'm a fucking a weird guy! He made tape, whiskey, and eggs. <laughs> uh, have you ever had his <laughs> ruse? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking Dick Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Drew invented masking tape in 1925. Drew observed <laughs> auto body workers growing frustrated <sighs> when they removed butcher paper they had taped to cars they were painting. The strong adhesive on the tape peeled off some of the paint they had just applied. So, nice cover up, Dick Drew. <laughs> oh, it has a practical use. It's so you can put it on. I mean, it's like painter's tape, right? Mm -hmm. But we all know the truth is, is that your company just had a faulty roll of tape and you're like, let's just call it, instead of calling it regular tape, let's call it masking <laughs> tape. Mask our problem with it. I'm on a Dick Drew. Also, might I add, same birthday as me. Well, Dick Drew, 1899. Drew realized the need for tape with a gentler adhesive. <laughs> Maybe he's just an aggressive guy. Yeah. Maybe he just had to turn over a new leaf. He's like, God, I need just need to be gentle. It's very, uh, you know what? I think I like Dick Drew. <laughs> he's got a son too. His name's Don. Dick and Don. Dick and Don Drew. Dick and Don Drew. <laughs> Girly. He's got a daughter named Dick Ann. Girthy. Andrew. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Andrew and Don Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's dick. <laughs> he didn't know. Invented Dad's masking dick. tape to mask all of his issues in life. Yeah. Actually, a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, painter's tape, basically, they just piggybacked off of dick. <laughs> And it's a type of masking tape. This is the great tape wars of 1927. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fucking tape wars. Mm -hmm. All I got to say is sticky I understand why it was invented now, Mr. Drew. But who's still buying this? <laughs> Christmas presents once a year. No, that's scotch tape. That's Scott. Fuck. <laughs> Same guy. Yeah. Same he worked guy. for 3M. So. Yeah. <laughs> Same church. Yeah. That's a good one, though, Tyler. Hmm. What, Tape. What else you guys got in your drawers? Um, I have a lot of loose nails. Yeah. Like tack nails that you hang stuff with. Um, I have. I, can I add thumbtacks onto that? Thumbtacks. Just a lot of random, really pointy <laughs> things. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the knives drawer. I'm talking about. The little pointy things. Yeah. It's the little things. <laughs> you know, I got I I do a lot of work with little pointy things. So <laughs> putting that work in. I got a lot of loose nails. Uh, there's also like a lot of uh you know, you put together a piece of furniture and like 
you end up with like this little tiny packet of like a couple other yeah. screws mm-hmm. or washers. And you're yeah. like, well, fuck either this thing's <laughs> going to fall apart in a month or they sent me some extra stuff. Boom. Yeah. Junk drawer. Yep. Oh, you're going to use this or, for some, a drywall anchor is another good one. Yeah. That that you're going to say drywall anchor. The Allen wrench that comes with all of those for assembly. Yeah. You can't throw away a good Allen wrench. Fuck no. no. Throw that in junk, the junk drawer. drawer. Junk for, for some reason, I don't highlight shit at home, but I've got like four or five highlighters in my say, junk drawer. Well, just markers in general. Yeah. If somehow you end up with some loose markers, Sharpies, mm-hmm. highlighters, maybe some Crayola markers. Goes right in the junk drawer. So Dry you, erasers. You open up that new Goggins book, you'll be highlighting the entire fucking thing. <laughs> It's all highlighted. It's the entire book is highlighted. That is such a great TikTok idea. It, it literally just, it literally just, it turned into an art project for me. Fuck, that's a good one I'm too. Like, Meg, yeah. I need a, I need new yellow highlighters. He, These ones are dead. He, he invents, he he takes like thirty highlighters and tapes them to a stick, yeah. and then just masking takes tape it or in, scotch tape. <laughs> masking tape. He wants to get it off. Okay. And then he just highlights the entire page with one swipe. <laughs> and it's still individual lines, too. It's not like it's just one big block of highlighter. God, that would be a funny TikTok. <laughs> Goggins, hardos. Every- it's just like, yeah, so I read his book, and I like highlight all the relevant information. <laughs> just every page is highlighted. That would take so fucking long. I mean, you got to no. do things that are difficult. Though. I know, I yeah. know. That's Goggins' whole thing. <laughs> Goggins probably I'm, hates highlighters because they make it too easy to read stuff. Yeah. I'm done yeah. with the book if you want to borrow it. I don't. Every time he wants to find one relevant line in a book, he just reads the whole thing. <laughs> wow. Like, I, sit down for a sec. Yeah. I didn't realize how good this stuff was. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video online of the guy who's at a talent show? And he says he can read really fast. And he just picks up the book. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like the judges wow. are so pissed off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some people that think that's probably real too. I would. Uh, it's not. It's a talent. Guess we'll never know. Guess we'll never know. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I have a box of matches. Mm. That's a good one. I use we have a lighter as well. Also in the junk. <laughs> but color. but we have a like a big box, you know, like uh uh I always I call them Toy Story bat m- match boxes, mm-hmm. like the big rectangular oh, yeah. Yeah. one that that Sid s- strikes it and lights the thing on. We have one of those for some reason I don't know. They're kind of fun. Those are cool. I got like one use. of those the tiny little cardboard books that you get as like a promotion or yeah. something yeah, the freebies yeah. you get at the gas station yeah. matches yeah. going there uh what else you got um i got return address labels oh yeah so That's a good one. if you're like if you're like part of like ducks unlimited or pheasants forever mm. they every year they send you like three sheets of return address labels and so i write in the junk drawer you got to send out thank yous for something go to the junk drawer i know we also have a stamp too when we sent out wedding invitations we just stamped that bitch on the back and uh, that's now in there. I plan on doing that for my thank yous for my wedding. Just get a, <laughs> like a a three by five stamp that has with, the thank you yep. note. With a line <laughs> for you to write the gift. A line to write the name and the gift. Yep. And then it's just the rest of it stamped. I mean, it's and it's mean- not going to be a good stamp. You're going to like see the little edge Swatches. on it. Yeah. 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 It's still meaningful, though. You had to create that stamp somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure they all understand that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know they also I, might think it's kind of funny or no, I should do that. And then send a follow up handwritten one that says, <laughs> will you please respond with if you thought the stamp, the stamp was funny or not circle? Yes. And or I no. bet, I bet there's more people that read and talk about that. Thank you note. If I were to use a stamp with a plug in, that is true. <laughs> what you gave me and think it was funny versus the latter. That's kind of fun in the process too. It's like uh one of them, one of them stampers that like, it's like the square. Are you talking the square? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Instead yeah. of just the handle one. Where yeah. I'm not talking about the handle one is pretty fun though. Yeah. Well, what is it about stamping stuff that's so fun? I don't know. Because think of the the work that it saved you. It just feels think so permanent time. rather than like a yeah. like a marker. You know. Yeah. You have to kind of get aggressive with it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like rub. It, it back also and like forth. makes me mm-hmm. think of like a a movie of like big stamp that says approved, and they fucking slam it on. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. every time I see a stamp like that, I think of Space Jam when uh, 
Bugs Bunny stamps Michael Jordan's forehead, forehead with A-OK. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just humor. That's yep. great, great humor. Great scene. Um, I think I might get a stamp. I think I might get a stamp for stuff around the office. What are you going to get? Yeah, forehead stamp. Yeah, like a little bit curved <laughs> and just f- perfectly molds around somebody's forehead. It's got a big A on it. Yours is going to be distorted with that vein going through your forehead. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, just like, like just start stamping your artwork that says like excellent <laughs> <laughs> or needs improvement. A plus. <laughs> needs improvement. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Um, Jared, what do you got in your junk drawer? So I think it's a, a big pen, specifically a big pen. I always like like the shittier pen is like the big pen. So I always like or like mechanical pencil, big mechanical pencils also. Yeah, it's always like, the, it's always the shittiest pen you have is in your junk drawer. Yeah, you got zebra pen. Mm-mm. Never good. Those are too nice. Those are outside the yeah. junk drawer. Those are on the desk for getting work done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the shed out back. Yeah, so everyone's got pen. backup pens. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, you probably got you got like a freebie. Yeah, which Boom. you're like, wow, I don't hate this. Then it went in the junk drawer, and it's like you only use this pen if you're in dire need. Yeah, you need, exactly. You need a two gig thumb drive, junk drawer. Yeah. What else? What else do you got in there? Um, I've got like uh, a shitty Swiss Army knife of things. That is, it's like a wine opener. It's got the little tiny knife on it. It's got the the can opener. And I feel like I've seen those in a lot of people's junk drawers as well. Like you yeah. get one of those, it doesn't go with the other knives. Mine does. Okay. <laughs> It does, it does, yeah, because like the wine opener and the can opener, that all goes in with like this, like the little silverware. spatulas. Mm-hmm. This, so yeah, right underneath the, our silverware drawer. I do not have a wine opener in mine. That's in the yeah, silverware Yeah, but this drawer. is like all one thing. I'm oh, talking yeah. about an actual oh. Swiss Army oh, yeah. knife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's practical to go in the junk What's drawer. What's kind of meta is uh, I would say the junk drawer is kind of the Swiss Army knife of the kitchen. Yeah. Ooh. So there's a Swiss Army knife in the Swiss Army knife of the kitchen. So yeah. where I, I, I can't believe that Mr. Scott let Mr. Swiss get, get army knives. <laughs> you think he would have invented Scotch army knives, but too sticky, too sticky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I can't fucking throw it. Yeah. Stick them. Everyone's just trying to get the pocket knife off their hand. <laughs> just stuck to it. I promise. This I guy's do a it. dick. <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing that in, Junk drawers that we had more so growing up is someone in my family bought a bag of really just ugly looking rubber bands. <laughs> rubber bands, good one. Yep. It was like a variety pack, and they just like went in there. But not very often in real life do you use rubber no. bands, but you got to use it once in a while. And so we had one bag talking, you know, three little, by five little three by five bag of rubber bands that lasted us like an entire decade. I can smell <laughs> them right years, now yeah. as you're talking about. I, why do why do rubber bands smell like that? I think it's the rubber. It's the rubber but. <laughs> more, more so the rubber than the band. Yeah. <laughs> really, Jared? <laughs> Holy fuck. Yep, you guys are right. <laughs> why does rubber smell that way? I mean, rubber bands are great if you like rip the zip tie bag way open. It doesn't, you can't hold them in there anymore. Rubber bands are great. But now we just ties. got, everyone's got clips. Yeah. Or you can That's also another just, thing. You can also just zip tie the wad of zip ties. Yeah. Another thing is a bunch of random fucking clips. Okay. Like fridge so clips and bag clips. I feel like and- there's two p- types of people in this world. There, There's three types of people. <laughs> We're going to go two. There's two types of people in this world. There's chip clip people, and then there's clothespin, pl- whoa, clothespin people mm-hmm. in the world. So your family either has something that's specifically made for chips, or they just grab a thing of clothespins and they close up all their chips with that. I grew up a clothespin guy. I married a chip clip girl. And I personally am a roll it up and stick it next to the side of the cupboard so it can't unroll guy. <laughs> I, I taught Ann that move. She's like, oh, where's the little twist? I'm like, take the loaf of bread, you spin it, you <laughs> fold it underneath, mm-hmm. and you set it back mm-hmm. on the There's thing. no air getting in that thing. Yeah. Why the why 
are the people still buying chip clips? I, there's no no reason anymore. Just roll it up, and then I I even time just flip it on its head uh-huh. and just set it on the rolled up part, and it's there's no. You can't tell me any air is getting in there. It's not going to get stale. Mm-hmm. Even you talk, if you're talking been, bread or chips, both. both. I was going to say bread. Well, obviously, the, you guys use a bread tie still, or you, you're, no. you're just spinning bread and folding. Uh, bread ties do suck because sometimes you don't know what direction. And then you start you know. twisting it the wrong <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah, and then the shit get. But the bread tie, it it reflects what day that bread was made on, the color of that bread tie. That's true. Mm, so color-coded. red, blue, green, whatever. I learned that embarrassingly on, late. In made life. it on Monday, it Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the dates, so it doesn't mean anything to me. But I do know that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I I cannot tell you the last time I returned a bread tie to the bread bag. <laughs> what about the little clippy thing? Fuck those. I hate those. Yeah. Those are the worst. Which clips are you guys referring I, to? Those like little plastic square ones? like squares that have a. Uh, well, what's like a t- What's nice is like. You can just be holding the bag, and then you just go, and it just snaps on there. Yeah, but I could also just be holding the bag and then set it down. The spin it fold it <laughs> method is pretty fun. Too. Yeah, you get that sucker nice and tight. You ever just spin it unnecessarily <laughs> hard? You're just like, Poof. oh yeah, dude. Slap the bitch it just, down. Yeah, you let, <laughs> or, you, or you let the tight part go all the way up to <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's just like a long string of rolled yeah. up, tightness. like a little rat tail. Yeah. <laughs> And then once in a while you 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 do that, and then you actually tie it to itself. Mm-hmm. That's another good move. Yeah, you don't need to be <laughs> wasting money on chip clips. Yeah, seriously. I use a chip clip until the bag gets to about a third full, and then I'm folding that. I'm folding mm-hmm. it over. I feel that my problem is if I open a bag of chips, by the time it goes back, it's over a third gone. So. Yeah, the fold method is implemented immediately. Here's a good psychology question: When do you throw a bag out? When you throw a bag of chips out, does it gotta be? Do you do the, do you do the move, where you take it all, you get it to one bottom corner, yeah. and then you pull the side tight, and then dump truck it into your mouth? I would argue that's or, the best part of the bag. Yeah, I am. Hey, let's hold on. Or you like get down to some crumbs and whatever, so you just end up throwing away the bag. I'm dumping that in my mouth. <sighs> Not the only thing you're dumping. Uh, answer the question, Ryan. <laughs> uh, there's got to be at least one full chip left for me to continue with that bag. If there's not a, a full chip left in the bag, it's going in the garbage. Really? Yep. I, yeah, I kind of agree. <sighs> How long will you do the move where you try and it's like on Toy Story as well? And the claw, your hand goes claw, in claw. like the claw, and you just try and scoop up as much little crumbs mm-hmm. as you can, and then it becomes the game of how fast can you go from the chip bag to your mouth <laughs> yeah. without spilling on the couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how so, long? I, I mean, I will, I'll do that for a while. Yeah, <laughs> my my mo- I try to do that as long until there's just a mouthful left in the bag. Yes, because if I can get the whole bag in my mouth once, doing the whole pull it tight trick, and th- yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just, I'm I'm not Ryan. I did not make um, a joke there. I just try to do it till there's one mouthful of chips left. Yeah, the claw, the claw. Um, How many bags of chips you eat in Tyler a week? In my life, in a week, maybe in my life, a half a bag. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not a chips are not my go to snack, but when they're there, I fucking kill them. Sure, you gotta be in the right mood mm-hmm. for chips. Yeah. You gotta be in the right mood to stop uh, your mouth. You know, if I'm awake, breathing, it's usually pretty good. <laughs> Walking around. I just, I always like to, I only <laughs> snack, like, usually when I'm watching TV, and chips are the worst TV snack because they're so loud. Yeah. Can't even hear yourself breathe. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite TV snack? <sighs> That's a great question, Jared. Sweets. Mm. I'm a candy guy. Ice cream cake. Uh, chocolate or fruity? Chocolate. Okay, a little Swiss cake roll action oh, on yeah. it, little Debbie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got little Debbies in the cupboard? I don't. Uh, I had some oatmeal cream pies not that oh, long ago. Oh, my God, <laughs> Ryan, relax. <laughs> I was a big honey bun guy back in the day. Honey buns are good. Keep your dick drew in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, What else? Is there anything else? I, I guess what's the most obscure thing you have? I mean, the, the biggest layup of all time is Post-it notes. Yep. Everybody, the post-it notes go nowhere but the junk drawer. My question for you guys is, where is your junk drawer located? Mm. In the kitchen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, right by the silverware. I get that. Mine too. Directly, drawer, drawer directly next to it. Mine's right above my garbage. 
So if I do ever need to throw anything away out of it, it's right there because it is junk. You're not supposed. You can't throw anything in the junk drawer away. I mean, you do it well. So here's the thing. There's also a rule about junk drawers: is you must continually. You must rule number one of junk drawers: you can't take anything out and throw it away. Number two, you can't rearrange anything. You can't organize the junk drawer. It needs to be that every single time you open up the junk drawer, you go. And something gets stuck <laughs> yeah. on the top of the thing, and you got to reach your hand in there and hold it down, and then open up the junk drawer, and then you got to like take your top of your hands and just kind of shuffle stuff around to make just it lay flat. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the lighter that's getting. Stuck. I was just gonna yeah. say last time I couldn't my get my box- hand under there to pull the lighter down. I just fucking spaz and I broke the lighter. Yeah, a box of matches every yeah. single time because yep. it's too light, so it just sits on all the stuff, and then it just every time. Yeah, Duh. so. The most obscure thing I have in my drunk drawer is a staple remover. You know, like the little chompy ass things mm, that them aren't fun. But I, I don't remove staples ever. Do you? Do you have a stapler? I guess is the question. Uh, I do. Okay. I do have a stapler. The That's yin and good. the yang. Yep. <laughs> but I'm not using either of them. I'm not printing shit out at home that I need to staple together. <laughs> Arts and crafts with your kids. Yeah, that's getting hung on the fridge. Magnets. Magnets is another good one. Yeah. Trying to think of the weirdest thing I got in there. I think what we should all do is we should go home tonight and we all should take a picture of our junk drawer. Yeah, okay. You guys are going to fucking roast me for mine. Mine's organized. Bro. <laughs> Rule number two already. Holy fuck. I didn't organize it. I'll I'll put that out into the world right now. But there are organizers in there. For I think where- we got to have Meg on this podcast. We got a lot of questions for her. <laughs> One weird thing I keep coming across junk drawers is like those like Sensi pods. Yeah, those, like those fucking wax waxes balls. Thing. Yeah, we, I think we might have. We, I know we have a Sensi pot that doesn't get used, so we gotta have the oh. wax somewhere. Yeah, it's like that little square wax that you get. Oh. I feel like I always come across that in a junk drawer. Yeah, I don't know if they're in our junk drawer, but if someone asked me to find them, that would be the first place I look. <laughs> exactly. I also have a lot of loose batteries in mm-hmm. my junk drawer. Same and. Double, triple, you know, the standard. And then I always have those, okay. like, those fris- Frisbee disc they could batteries. Like the watch batteries? Yeah, it's like, yeah. well, one, I didn't buy this battery. <laughs> so why do I have it? Where did it come from? And what am I going to use it for? I don't own anything with a disc battery involved, but you never know. Is the, the remote on your car keys, is that yeah. disc battery? Because that's yeah. I got disc battery on mine. Yes. I don't know. Most uh, of them are. Yeah. It's for your Oscar start oven. <laughs> <laughs> One day. And there we go. Full circle, baby. Um, that is like, I do think that, like, if you, I wouldn't be surprised if the socks that you lose in the dryer <laughs> just, like, went into the junk drawer. I feel Somehow. like everything you lose, little <laughs> tiny things you lose in your house get absorbed by the house and then they just dump that into the junk drawer because I swear to God, there's stuff in there that I didn't put in there or Ann put in there and it just is there. Black yeah. hole. Yeah. I'll take a photo of mine. It's okay. to you guys. He's going to mess it up. He's going <laughs> to <laughs> take a photo Here's and then my- go, Meg, organize this drawer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how to organize it. She did it. So it's a good move. <laughs> I don't know where you want this stuff. Like I that. just mess stuff up. I don't organize <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> we have a give and take relationship. I miss mess shit up and she cleans up my mess. <laughs> it's great. Yep. It's a give and take. <laughs> All right. You got anything else on junk drawers? Not off the top. It's junk. A lot of junk in there. A lot of junk in the drawer. Mm -hmm. So are we going to make that happen? There's junk in the trunk and there's junk in the drawer. Who's got the, I wonder who's got the biggest junk drawer. Probably me. (laughs) It's a competition. (laughs) No, it's junk in the drawer. (laughs) Not junk drawer. It's not, it's not who's got the biggest junk trunk. (laughs) Who's got the most junk Junk in in their trunk? trunk. (laughs) 
You have the- <laughs> hey, you just see like I just start pouring out like my silverware. <laughs> fucking, dr- I pour out every drawer into the junk drawer. It is, it, it's five feet above the actual limit to close them. Like, yeah. Hey, here's my junk. You drawer. see like alpha brain in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like right. You got every day. Book is my on entire. It. I just take everything from my office desk and just throw it in there. <laughs> Fuck! I got a lot of junk in my drawer. <laughs> Probably more than you guys. <laughs> you peasants. <laughs> You know what they say about a guy with a lot of junk in his drawer? What do they say, Mike? A lot of, they got a lot of junk. <laughs> a lot of batteries. Yeah. Small house. Ryan. Go on. You've been getting up early, haven't you? Now that you got a kid? Morning person. What more? What time do you usually get up? 5.30, 6. 5.30. So specific. 5.36. <laughs> Uh, you yeah, get yep, up yep. five thirty six. I bet you know what would make that day. I you know what would make your morning a hot coffee, hot coffee from holiday gas stations and a hashy. And just like that, your morning is made. And that's what holiday is all about right now. They got hot breakfast. They got cool drinks. They got hot coffee and ice cold. Drinks. <laughs> they sure do. Uh, they didn't rhyme anything. Any temperature of drink that you would like. They have uh, breakfast quesadillas. Have you had a breakfast? I don't know if I've ever had a breakfast quesadilla. I might I have to either. go there and try it. Nope, I haven't either. Not from there anyway. Have you had the breakfast quesadilla yet? No, our local one doesn't have them yet. I asked about them. So they're coming? They are coming. So if you if you don't see the breakfast quesadilla at your local holiday, they're coming. And they're coming in hot. Literally, literally, they're a hot breakfast item that they have at <laughs> holiday. Um, and I mean, there's no better way to make your morning like Ryan does. He wakes up at 5 36 earlier than that. Ryan's up at like 3 30. He 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 just told us he lied. You were out of the room, but yeah. he just told us. So, um, guys, if you want to make your morning. You don't even have to be up by 536. You can just wake up at like 637. <laughs> <laughs> you can wake up at 839 <laughs> and uh, head over to holiday. And get your mornings made. Because your mornings get made at holiday. If We're trying to do a jingle. Day. Yeah, Make sure you get there before 1030, though, because that's when I start phasing in lunch. Yeah, you yeah. don't wake up at... 10 30 11 yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think you're getting your morning made with the hot breakfast no your morning is gonna be ruined because yeah. it's all gone so <laughs> you don't have to be lonely go to holiday for the mornings made dot com and if you had a bad day go to holiday <laughs> That's a good get one. your morning made at the holiday. At the holiday. <laughs> oh, maybe that's how you do it. Follow all the blue lights. You can't miss them. Don't pass gas. Fuck. <laughs> and you can bet your ass that your morning's made at holiday. Okay. Boom. Chorus. <laughs> We're not good singers. Bad. Can I end with this? Please. Why Why does some people pronounce it batteries? I Again, That's a it. person who works here calls them bat, bat, batteries. And, is, and I know bat- this guy, and he's not the speech impediment guy. Batteries. Batteries. Oh. Because it is spelled with two T's. So they pronounce the T's. Yeah, but you pronounce each T with a different part of the word. It's batteries. But everyone pronounces it batteries, like with D. Yeah, batteries. Not batteries. Yeah, but then they're just ignoring the ER if they're calling them batteries. Batteries or batteries. There's an ER that's being not pronounced by this person. Anyways, we're not going to solve this one. We're going to leave this with everyone as you go debate your family about this. Why is it? Why is it batteries with a D? Even though it's spelled with a T. Ah, uh, batteries. Batteries. <laughs> that was good. Uh, ba- batteries. I would pronounce it with D's. 
D's. I mean, it's like it's got double D's. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Go listen to the Apology Patreon episode. <laughs> Patreon.com slash you betcha radio. And uh as always, thanks for tuning in. We love you. May your drawer have junk <laughs> and your tape be dicked. <laughs> be made by Dick Drew. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan. <laughs> Mm. Uh. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.